share this channel on the internet. And before we get the show on the road, I would like to thank everyone for the continuing love and support for the channel by liking the videos, commenting, sharing them, and most important of all, watching whatever we post from fishing, jet skiing, boating, island exploring, or just hanging around the house. And also, we cannot forget those fans that actually purchase merchandise from the Fresco channel and the Sandbar Life. And today we're doing something we never have done before. We're actually breaking our distance record. We're traveling the longest distance we ever done on the Rain Runner, AKA Island Hopper. And definitely we are excited. You know when you get that tingle in your stomach and you get anxious, well, that's how we're feeling right now because we don't know what to expect. We really don't know how the surf is gonna be outside. We're just hoping it's gonna be a calm, smooth ride because it is going to be long. And if you notice, we're missing part of the crew. Yep, Gabby and Joel stay behind. Gabby stayed at home, but Joel is actually running Cush Country at Jacksonville, Florida. And well, so far so good, the day looks pretty good. So good that Ogita wanted to take some pictures. And how can I say no to that? And if it was up to her, she could take pictures the whole day. And I guess I don't mind. All right, guys, so another day out on the water in paradise. And by the look of things, we're getting warned, an early warning, because uh, there's some great clouds over there, but whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, so a lot of women want to buy the, the unisex, I guess, man size, like what she got on. For example, what size are you? You're a medium, right? He's a medium. You're a medium. So if you're a medium and woman, that means you're small and men. So remember that. If one of you ladies want to buy like this one, if you, let's say you're a woman size, you're, let's say a medium. So you will need to buy a man small. Now, if you're a woman small, I think you're out of gas because I don't have extra small. <laughs> so remember, women are one size smaller when it comes to the man's shirt. But they're really unisex, but they run on men's sizes, I guess. Let me go and know if you guys understood that or not because it's kind of crazy. Okay, so that was kind of hard to explain. So basically, women, if you want to buy the other t-shirts, all you need to do is order a size smaller from what you wear. And that'll work. And definitely, this is a good sign because once you see the bay water flat, it's pretty sure outside is going to be pretty smooth too. Alright, so if you see right there, we have a cloud forming, so I think we're going to get wet. But the good thing is, we're going to go that way. We're going down south once we go outside, so we're going to a new place today. 
But I don't know. I think Mother Nature's warning us early in the morning shower, baby. We're gonna get wet, but it's okay. Cause you know how we play rain or shine, this show must go on. Because no matter what, we're gonna have some fun in the sun. Okay guys, so now our journey begins traveling down south all the way towards Marco Island. Now this is the farthest ride ever for us and we kind of estimate it's about 60 mile run but the thing is we're riding on the Gulf so most of the time the long distance we do is on the bay with calm waters but outside here we don't know what to expect but so far so good it looks pretty calm. So feeling pretty lucky for the long ride and like you notice we still have the cloudy weather slowly creeping by us and the question I asked myself was I wonder who's gonna fall asleep first is it gonna be Fresco or Ogida and guess what it was Fresco but I knew Ogida wasn't far behind because the water wasn't 100% calm but it's smooth enough to fall asleep And I started to notice something. Gita's head started to wobble. So I think that was the sign that she started to fall asleep. I just wasn't sure because she had glasses on. But by the look at things, I think she was. Okay, so I'm gonna answer this question one more time. Why do we wear the mask? The only reason why we wear the mask is just to protect us from the sun. That's it guys, and I knew it, sooner or later, that's it, no more wobbling, she had to put her head down, because yes, the ride was over two hours long, and little by little, we left the cloudy weather behind, and smooth sailing, or is it motorizing straight forward, and little by little, the GPS told us we were getting closer and closer and closer until finally, we reached our destination. And just like I suspected, there was a lot of people hanging out at the sandbar slash island. But one thing for sure, it looked like they were enjoying themselves, having some fun in the sun.
And as you can see, there's plenty of local boaters enjoying themselves. And I think it was time to find our spot and join them. Well, I think the ride was worth it because this spot looks pretty fun. So it's time to jump in the water and check it out. And definitely it was because the water temperature was about, I say, 84 degrees. So it was hot enough for me and Orbita to jump in. So yeah, once again, I think this place is amazing and I've been here, I would like to say maybe like six years ago and I'm going to look through my video library and leave the link on the description below so you guys can see it. And well, you guys already know that this long boat ride kind of built up my appetite. So it's time to uh, maybe chew on some snacks. And there's nothing better on a hot day than some whole fruits. And today we have watermelon and apples. So definitely we're enjoying our time here, sea license. But Ogita decided to do some island or sandbar exploring and I know what she's going to be looking for. She's going to be looking for shells, but me, I'm just going to stay here on the rain runner and enjoy the scenery and watch the boaters here enjoy themselves. And by the look of things, it looks like this is a very local hotspot where the local boaters hang out with a few occasional visitors like us today. Check it out guys, this is pretty cool. I got like a little pool area. There's one here, right in front of our section. This is pretty cool. There's a lot of boaters here today. Everybody having some fun in the sun, including us. That two hour drive we did, but it was worth it. The sun here is great. And Ogida is doing her shelf hunting. And we're doing uh, our scouting. Check out the sand, check this. So what do you think? Like it or not like it? Pretty cool, right? Something different for today. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's check out. You know what? Let's check out the point. Let's go all the way to the point. 
all right guys so we're at the tip of i don't know what you want to call it sandbar or island but it's pretty cool right here i gotta roll all the way at the tip check it out it's pretty cool here i guess it's the local hangout spot i'm gonna have to look up the name on google what the island or whatever they call this place here right? what is it she waited she waited why well, you you come out hang out in the sandbar yeah let me know <laughs> So it's pretty cool so it's really the highest coming up so i don't know if this goes under or what but yeah the tide's going up but it's pretty cool and look at that guys it's rain well dark clouds all around us but they haven't wet us yet hopefully we don't get wet and right there that's marco island ain't that crazy guys we're almost we're almost like at the tip of the of, of the what do you want to call it the everglades i guess because after marco island the everglades so we took that drive today. We're on a mission. I think part of this does go under. Yeah, yeah. I think it goes under. Right here. Yeah. In a second. It's pretty cool. So let's keep walking around. And there's plenty of shells here to pick. There's lots of shells. Okita hasn't seen this yet. Yes, yeah, Okita hasn't been to this area yet. She'll leave the island empty. <laughs> Well, there you go guys this place is called key waiting island and it's located between marco island and naples and you could get here by boat only but you could trailer to the nearest ramp and you don't have to take the two hour drive like we did and this island slash sandbar is really big and there's more to see but you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow for that and also we stopped at another island on the way back to catch some lunch time so how are you gonna do this be yours and also while we were there we got to meet some really cool fans that stopped by to say hi so make sure to tune in tomorrow for the rest of the trip mm -hmm.